so many women can benefit from learning how to soften and it doesn't mean you have to completely change who you are to do that and you can still be soft and strong and your softness can actually be one of your strengths Hey friends, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Jill, and I talk about things like feminine energy, self-improvement, and wellness for women. So if that's something you're into, you should absolutely hit that red subscribe button below and join this wonderful community. So I think one of the biggest misconceptions in the feminine energy space is that we always need to be soft and gentle, and that's what it means to be a feminine woman. But that's not really true. While softness can be one big aspect of the feminine, and that's what I'll be talking about today, the feminine can also be wild and roaring. The feminine is multifaceted and ever-changing. It can be stillness and calm, and it can also be chaos. And I've said this analogy many times before, but Mother Earth is the best example of feminine energy in its purest form. Sometimes she's beautiful and tranquil, and other times she's a tornado. I just wanted to remind you of that before we dive into this softness piece, that softness is not everything, it's just a part of it. And softness does not mean holding back who you are. But with that said, the softness is something that a lot of women and struggle with, mostly because the world we live in has taught us to be hard. It's taught us that we need to put on this shield or this armor to stay safe. But we won't truly really feel our best selves until we can learn to let that go. Now in general, I think that women tend to fall in either one of two categories. There is a hot woman and there is a cool woman. And I don't mean one type of woman is hot and attractive and the other one is cool and vibey. No, a hot woman is someone who is naturally more fiery, maybe a little bit more feisty. They have more passion usually more extroverted, and they tend to kind of excite people. They get people going. And then there's the cool woman, which is more like me, someone who is naturally a bit calmer. And instead of like exciting people and getting people all fiery and riled up, they calm people down. They relax people. They're more of a grounding energy. And as a cooler woman, I still have my hot moments for sure, but in general, I tend to fall in this cooler category. So let me know what type of woman you are, if you're a hot woman or a cool woman. But anyways, the reason the reason why I am bringing this all up is because so many people associate that softness with those cooler properties, with those more like cooler, gentler types of women. But you can still be hot and fiery and soft too. I think the best example is Gloria from Modern Family, um, played by Sofia Vergara. She's very fiery, very feisty, very passionate, but she's still very soft and feminine at the same time. Or you can be super goal-oriented and ambitious and soft too. Being soft does not mean changing who you are and putting on this facade. It's just about letting ourselves get rid of that hard outer shell. And doing this will actually make us more authentically ourselves. All right, so let's get into it. Here are my tips on how to be a softer woman and to let that softness come out in a healthy way. So if you want to be a softer woman and express yourself in a softer way, you first have to start within. You first have to start being soft to yourself and having a softer inner dialogue. Because here's the thing, your external reality is almost always just a reflection of your internal reality. And the way that you treat others is usually just the way that you treat yourself. So for example, people who are very critical of other people, it's usually because they're just very critical of themselves. So when you wanna be softer to others and present yourself as a softer type of woman, you need to start by looking within. Because when you change the internal first, the external just naturally kind of comes along with it. So how are you speaking to yourself? Are you mean to yourself? Do you talk down to yourself? Do you have unreasonable expectations for yourself that just convinces you that you're constantly a failure and so you have to keep pushing harder and harder? Do you get your validation and sense of worthiness from other people and so your internal world is constantly trying to keep up with other people's thoughts of you? Because if so, that is all so exhausting and this creates a very hard internal environment. And that external soft. I mean like presenting yourself in a softer way, all of that will likely feel very inauthentic to you until you can create that inner softness within, within yourself. And that is where you have to start. Now the next tip. The reason why so many of us have this hardened outer shell and struggle to be soft is because we feel like we need to constantly be on the defense. We feel like we need to constantly be proving ourselves in some way. So ask yourself, when you have a conversation with someone or even an argument with someone, do you get 
get defensive easily. Because to be a softer woman, you need to be able to let down these defenses sometimes. You have to get into the mindset of that you don't need to prove anything to anyone and that you are loved because of who you are and that your achievements, while they may be absolutely wonderful and you should be so proud of them, that's not what makes you worthy and that not everyone is out to get you. So many women build up this hard outer shell because of the world we live in. You know, sometimes it can be a harsh place for women or sometimes we do have to deal with unsafe situations or you may have possibly had a bit of a rougher childhood. All of this may have created this hard outer shell that you have relied upon to protect you. And in the past, it might have been very helpful for you and was beneficial, but moving forward, forward 99% of the time you don't need it and all it does is just hold you back but then we get into this habit of this hardness going up all the time and this puts us into our masculine and it doesn't truly feel good to us you can soften you can relax you can let things roll off your shoulder. You can choose to not be defensive all the time, especially in moments where you know that you don't need to be. And with that said, it's also important to let ourselves embrace some of that vulnerability sometimes. You know, when you're with people that you trust, like for example, your partner or your best friend, you should be able to open up and show that emotion, you know, to let go and relax. And not being afraid to show these emotions is one way that we soften. And think about it, when we resist something, we naturally harden, we naturally close off. This is just what naturally happens. And so when we resist our feelings, we naturally harden, we become less soft, we become more closed off. Stop resisting and let yourself be a bit more open to these experiences. A soft feminine woman embraces these waves of emotions and lets herself feel grief or anger or overwhelm or happiness or joy or excitement or whatever it is and isn't afraid to let it out. We don't need to hide our emotions. We don't need to hide what we're going through. Now, obviously like the circumstance does matter here. You probably don't wanna be as vulnerable when you're in an important professional work meeting, but when you are on the couch with your partner or at lunch with your best friend, you can be soft, you can be vulnerable, you can be yourself. Letting some of that vulnerability come through sometimes is one way that we soften. Next tip, slow down, slow down your movements. Remember that not everything is a race and not everything is about achievements and hustle. You will naturally feel softer and appear softer when you slow down your movements. You don't have to be a turtle, you just don't have to rush. And this allows your nervous system to relax a bit and feel more calm and centered. When you're folding clothes after doing laundry, sometimes you can just slow it down and be present in that and be present in that task that you're doing, even if it's not your favorite thing. Or when you're on a walk around the neighborhood, you don't have to speed walk all the time. You can slow it down. You can take a look at all the trees and the birds and the butterflies and just kind of enjoy it. Just try it and see how you feel because slowing down and being more present will automatically make you feel like a softer, more feminine woman. Your body and your mind are very, very interconnected. And oftentimes what happens in the mind happens in the body and vice versa. And that's why when you tend to feel annoyed or you feel like tension in your mind or you feel overwhelmed or you feel anxious, you can start to feel that in your body too. Your whole body will tense up. You might even feel that anxiety in your stomach. But when you relax your body and intentionally let it be soft and intentionally focus on relaxing all of your muscles, then your mind and your spirit will usually soften too. So if you want to be a softer woman, try softening your body, especially if you feel like all the tips I've shared so far might be a challenge for you or a little bit difficult. Everyone can do this one no matter what. You just have to be conscious about it. So if there's a moment where you want to feel softer or even just appear softer, like for example, maybe if you're on a date, soften your body, let your body relax, and you'll probably appear more confident too. Now, a really common moment where we let all of our softness just go out the window and we naturally harden ourselves is when we get into the midst of a conflict or argument. This is when we typically get defensive. And this is when we have that mindset of like, we need to win. But remember, conflict doesn't need to be tense. Conflict can actually be a very healthy thing sometimes, and it doesn't need to turn angry or volatile. When you're in the midst of a conflict, when you feel that tension rising, this is the exact moment that you need to challenge yourself to soften. And I know it's hard, but it is doable. If you really think about it, conflict is usually either just a misunderstanding or someone not feeling loved or heard or respected. That's usually what it boils down to. It's usually just someone feeling hurt. So if you can remember that you don't have to 
have your defenses up all the time, that not all conflict needs tension, this can allow you to soften in these moments. And the more that you soften in these moments, the easier this conflict or disagreement will be, I promise. And that leads me to my next point. Next, to soften and to handle conflict better, you need to have empathy for others. Being able to look at things maturely and objectively and see what something is like in someone else's shoes, that's a skill that we naturally have as women. It's something that we're pretty good at, but this will help us to soften and be more in our feminine. So this is naturally one of our strengths and it's okay that we use it to an extent. Obviously we don't wanna go overboard with this because we do have to have some sort of boundaries, but it's good and healthy to have empathy for others. When you have empathy for others, you don't feel the need to be defensive or tense all the time because you can see that any sort of like unnecessary lashing out at you or whatever it is, you can see that it oftentimes just boil down to a feeling of hurt or pain. And it's a reflection of something going on within themselves. Remembering this and having this empathy can help you to remain soft and keep those defenses down when you really don't need them. One of the most important things I think though, when it comes to being a softer woman, is that you have to be able to trust. Trust that life is working out for you. Trust that the universe or God or whatever it is that aligns with you is on your side and is protecting you. Again, a lot of this quote hardness comes from a feeling of unsafety and sometimes this feeling of unsafety is warranted and sometimes it's not but this constant worrying this constant tension this constant anxiety it's causing you to lose your spark and to disconnect with your feminine energy and to resist that natural softness that's within you there comes a point where to live your happiest best life you have to learn when to let go. You have to learn when to surrender. You have to learn to trust and to embody the feeling that things are on your side and things are working out for you. You have to remember that sometimes not trying to control everything is one of the most powerful things that you can do. And this trust, this surrender, is what's really gonna bring this softness out of you. Now, if you wanna continue down this journey of connecting more to your feminine energy, I highly recommend you check out this video here, 10 Habits to Increase Your Magnetic Feminine Energy. This will help you to naturally activate more of that feminine energy that's already there within you. So I will see you over there or I will see you next time. Bye, thanks for watching. Oh, and of course, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I'd love it if you stuck around.